When my husband was first diagnosed uh, with a brain tumor, God gave me the scripture in uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that says to trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your under, on understanding, but in all ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. So I've held on to that in everything that has happened to me through life, knowing that I may not understand what's going to take place in the future, but that God will be there and that I can trust Him through whatever it is that I'm going through. I've been through some struggles through my ministry. One of those was actually uh, my husband's illness. And so God totally, completely used uh, uh, the church that I was serving in at that time, the people of the community, and just uh, helped to restore everything that uh, I was going through at that time and uh, just helped encourage me and make sure that I uh, was loved and taken care of. And so I watched God work through that church. I believe with all my heart he put us there both for a reason. And the reason was that he knew that that's what I was going to need. That's the type of care I was going to need. And that little church was compassionate, loving, and uh, helped me through a very difficult time. Of course, one of my most favorite moments is where I'm at right now is because I got to watch God bring people together and uh, uh, in a very diverse congregation. And I've felt it's just been wonderful to just get to be a part of that and see what God's doing there. And I think that my own personal self, I've had to continue to ask myself the question, what would I not be willing to give up or not do to reach souls for Jesus Christ? And I think God has blessed us in the obedience of that. And so it's been exciting to watch. Uh, we have a great uh, youth group and I've got to be a part of that from the beginning. And they're, they're very deep rooted. And so I would say that's some of my great moments. It's very important for you to stay rooted and for you to stay deep in your faith and to take care of yourself. A Sabbath for your own self is very important and uh, you can't give what you don't have. And so don't let yourself become empty. And uh, I would tell you to, to really work on that and make sure. I, I was an associate to begin with. And when the DS asked if I would be willing to take a, a church and be the senior pastor there, I told him yes, but I would really like for them to appoint me somewhere to where the church was really excited that they were wanting to move forward, that uh, they were you know, wanting to go deep spiritually. And he said to me, well, that will depend upon their pastor. And so I have held on to that all these years and the importance of me being excited, uh, enthusiastic about things, deep-rooted, and me moving, ready to move forward so that they're ready to move forward.